they gave they give people money checks to use in shops and then people could use that money to buy for a long time they were able to buy alcohol with it and even now they can still buy they can choose what they're buying with that stuff like they're giving money to drug addicts and alcoholics and I don't agree with it. It's not helping families who are disadvantaged. It's like things like throw lent pee and all that. Are things that everyone kinda of knows about and they kind of grew up maybe with the short box of home or something and it's just something that everyone kinda of knows about and they see the good it was Troll crap. Troll crap? Yeah. Just just was it was it always going to be Troker for you? I think so, yeah, because I, I, I always get just associated with real kind of like Lent and Christmas, I always get Troker box and stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I think it's fairly good, is it? Seeing firsthand what they do and stuff, and I think it's a really, really good organisation. And it's really, like, it's all confidential as well, so it's not like you wouldn't, you know, the people that need it, it's not advertised like, oh, you need to help their disadvantage, you know what I mean? They do it, like, privately. Anna Center, what? like in the what? summer, that they have cards, but like they advertise as a charity, but the only like 0.3% of the money they collect actually goes to charity. So, you know, it's. When you hear the word Simmons and Paul, what comes to your head straight away? Simmons and the Volunteer Church. The church. And you know, are they excited to him? Poor people as well. Food drives and things like that, like the baskets at Christmas and things like that. It's like they're role models, you know, they're more people look up to them and they take notice of the charity more, you know. Yeah, like, like a celebrity endorsement yeah, again. Yeah, it's a celebrity, you know, more than to like, like young people. Right? They really need to tell people what they do, because that doesn't really tell you anything. Like you said, it looks like a club more than society or a charity. Yeah. And if the families, could, you could make a request. You can, I don't sure how you, if they have an office or something, but you go in and you say, I don't have enough money, and then they, I suppose, look at your situation and they decide whether to give you money or not. But I didn't realize they did it for students, I just knew they did it for families. I don't see the need to send four page coloured leaflets in the post to every house in Ireland. Like, that's a waste of money. But like, if they spend it, if they spend it, if they spend it effectively, but like, they don't have to be. Concern are excessive, and then obviously, same as the ball don't spin enough, like, so there must be a, a line in between. Like. Do they take money in or other outside churches? They go to church and like. Church gate collection? Yeah. yeah. Well, they could keep the church gate collection, they keep it all going, but like, they could. It's all Just their mission statement doesn't have to be we are a Catholic society or whatever it is. I don't see why that should affect the fact whether they be, whether they be a Catholic organisation, <coughs> which is a good charity or not, to the same time. Yeah, because so it's really like it's kind of associated with the church, like it's always kind of outside church, I know where I am, from where I'm from, from uh, it's like those baskets, so it's always taking place to the point outside, maybe like that could be like put off some people.